15 pounds. His professional record, 21 victories with 6 KOs to his credit, 12 defeats. He comes to us from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Timber Jack Bastien. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white, trimmed with red, and weighing in at 242 pounds. His record, 29 victories, 26 by knockout. Only three losses in his career from Warsaw, Poland, and the windy city of Chicago, Illinois. Here is Andrew Golata. Okay, gentlemen, you've both received your free fight instructions. I expect a clean break at all times. Any questions here? All right, let's have a nice, clean contest. Good luck to both of you. Touch them up. All right, our matchup, as you can see, Galata with a big 35-pound weight advantage, 6-inch height advantage, 6-inch reach advantage, and the only thing that Basting has going for him is 11 years in age. And the fact that he's a southpaw and rushing Galata as we start right away here in round number one. That's Bastings in the black shorts with the red stripe charging Galata, who's in white and red. We've been joined at ringside by Kevin Kelly, of course, John Saracino's here along with myself, Arnie Tokyo Rosenthal. Scheduled for 10. After taking a six month layoff after a devastating knockout to Lennox Lewis, this is Galata's second fight in 30 days, and Kevin, coming off a knockout loss like that, what goes through a fighter's mind and to get himself back on track and to be taken seriously as a contender again? One thing that you want to do is you want to establish yourself. You want to uh, get yourself together, get your head back together, and build confidence. What happens when you get knocked out is that maybe you have a little doubt, a self-doubt in your head. The lot of right now is to establish himself. He's trying to get that winning streak back again, where his last fight's not a loss, it's a win, which is confidence for him. No hold, no hold. Looking to put two together. I can't explain what just happened to Basting. Can you, John? He's got a bad right knee. You can see that brace, and that knee suddenly went out on him, Marty. A little more than a minute gone by here in the first round. And Basting certainly showing a lot of heart and taking the fight to Galata. I talked earlier today with Basting's trainer, and he mentioned that if Jack could go long enough, he thought it would be an interesting fight. Maybe he was talking about that knee. Basting's last fight came against Joe Hip, and he did go to distance with hard-hitting Hip uh, back in March. Prior to that, he had a two-year layoff, and uh, that was after a one-round knockout to Johnny Ruiz. Basting has been stopped five times in his career, coming in tonight 21 and 12, only six knockouts, and he is a southpaw. Well, the big thing is I talked to Galan earlier, and uh, the biggest thing that main events is trying to work on Galan is patience and discipline. The whole thing is to keep his punches up and take his man out slowly as a fighter, as a boxer, utilizing a jab, utilizing the overhand right, combination punches, not just going for the knockout or getting through some dirty tactics. Guys, right now, as you see, are testing him. This guy's kind of awkward. Some punches actually look low to cause Galata to lose discipline. Well, I believe Galata is staying very focused right now. I would say right now, along the lines of what Kevin's talking about, Galata seems very patient. Perfect. Galata seems very in control right now, both of the fight and his emotions. As we're under 20 seconds to go in round number one, this is scheduled for 10. Galata, of course, very heavy hitting, 26 knockouts in his 29 wins as we come near the end of round number one. Very good round for Galata that he punctuates with a big right at the end of round number one on the explosion. Round number two scheduled for ten, and uh, Galata punctuated the end of round number two with a good right, but then, just as Kevin Kelly was saying he wants to be in touch with his emotions and be in control, he went after Bastings after the bell for no reason. Well, I don't know if that's no reason. You know, Galata, it's very hard to control your emotions. Very hard. You know when that guy falls in love, he can't control his emotions. So I'm sure here, it's hard to control his emotions when he gets angry or frustrated. So Galata right now is being patient. Ronnie Shields, who's a great trainer of his, and a great fighter at one time, told me, he said, the biggest thing we're working on is discipline. More than boxing, discipline. Now, are you 
trying to say that he's in love with Basting and he can't control his emotions? Well, Basting is very awkward, throws a lot of weird, found punches. As you can see, he catches a lot of punches that should upset him. So he has to control himself at times like that. Nice jab from Galata. You see Andrew also not using the classic right hand lead against the South by taking his time and he's still jabbing. Well, John, I'm, I'm beginning to wonder a little bit how much experience. I know Galata used to spar quite a bit with Jeff Wooden, who's a southpaw. He's fought in his career, and certainly recently, I really wonder if he went heavy into southpaw sparring. Well, he's fought a couple of southpaws. Andre Smith was one of them, stopped him in one round in Las Vegas. That was several years ago. But, you know, the, the footwork, getting it down with a southpaw, that's one of the key things. And also, staying aggressive with a southpaw. And Galata is taking a fight to face these. And as, as Kevin mentioned earlier, a very awkward fighter to fight. We're a little more than halfway gone here in round number two. This is scheduled for 10. Andrew Galata, just the same Galata that two disqualification losses to Riddick Bowe and a first round KO loss to Lennox Lewis on a comeback trail. Beat Eli Dixon just a little over a month ago. Six round knockout. He was very patient in that Eli Dixon fight. He showed a lot of control. That's what he needs to show here tonight. We'll see when the bell rings in 52 seconds if he has control. And not punch the man after the bell rings. Nice jab by Galata. Basting looking very worn right now. Sorry, if you think about it, Galata's only had about a round of action the last year and a half. I mean, he was off a while. So he is still trying to shake some of those cobwebs. And of course, losing like he did to Lennox Lewis, he lost a lot of confidence. They have to slowly rebuild that in him. A lot of people might be wondering, why is Andrew Galata fighting a guy like Jack Basie? They want him getting used to being in the ring again, getting his composure back, learning what he has to do to be a, a successful professional heavyweight. And exactly, building his confidence. The main thing with Galata right now, after the devastating loss to Lennox Lewis, is around his confidence. All right, well, we're coming to the end of round number two, and I would say Galata has to feel very confident as he's really controlling Basting and rocks him with the right at the end of round two. Three, Andrew Galata. White shorts, Jack Basting, and left. No knockdowns thus far in the fight. We were talking between rounds, Kevin. You're a southpaw, and you know how guys normally would want to fight a southpaw. Right-hand lead, left follow-up. Yet the jab's working very well for Galata. Well, one thing is Basting's not jabbing. Maybe it's because that front leg, that front right, the front right leg, is not allowing him to jab. He's not jabbing. He's not doing keeping Galata off of him. Galata right now is actually out jabbing Basting, and that should not be happening. But Galata is a very patient, conservative fighter right now. Beautiful jab, just now Galata landed. He's got a very good jab. It looks like kid anybody here too, Arnie. He's fighting a guy who's 41 years old, who's a journeyman, who's a very light hitter. I mean, let's face it. He doesn't have went, a lot to keep him off. Went but. 10 rounds though with Joe Hip as recently as this March. He's been stopped five times in his career. Johnny Ruiz iced him. Oh, good body, Norris. Yeah, but that was then and this is now. Left-right combination. And a lot of really teeing off now and basting, basting showing a very good beard. Also, Galata going to the body, taking some of that steam out of basting if he has any. Oh, big left by Galata rocks basting. And he's just methodically breaking him down right now, punch by punch. This fight is close to being over. Let's see if Galata can finish it. Right now, basting trying to survive. Referee's looking very close to me at Basting. I think he's around about to stop this fight. Rudy Battle could jump in at any time, and Basting is turning his head back. the ropes. Let's see what Battle does here. Battle's telling him to go in and fight more. We still have over a minute to go in the third round. Andrew Galata right now should be able to finish this fighter off. He is a seasoned veteran, been around for years. Right now, Basting is right there for the hitting. He stopped that fight because he turned his back on, on Galata more than once. Good stoppage and a lot of heart shown by Jack Basting, perhaps too much for his own good. Well, Kevin, let's talk a little bit here. We said what he was looking for tonight was to show patience, get his emotions under control, 
on, on a scorecard of, of one through ten, what would you give him in terms of patience and emotion? The man, I gave him a nine because that the first round when he punched him after the bell rang. Um, that one little slip is all you need to lose a fight. A lot of shows great patience, otherwise than that, keeping the punches up above the waist, okay, tonight, and put his punches together. I think Galata's on his way back as they...